Hi, this is Lauren Rice. I'm going to talk to you about the eye and renal detachment, glaucoma, and cataracts. Um, so the eye is a very useful gelatinous organ of the body. Um, the part that we can all see on each other is this anterior part with like the cornea, which is aqueous filled, uh, humor fluid filled, um, our iris, which gives us our color, and the people in lens, which allows the light in to be able to sh back through the optic nerve, very important, all the way through the brain, kind of like this, and back to the other eye. Um, they work together uh, to give us our sight. So the brain and the eyes work directly together. Um, this captures the images, this captures the light, the brain processes the images and sends it back and we see. Um, so moving on for time's sake, glaucoma, a very um, common disease of the eyes. Um, it is just all about optic nerve damage. So it comes from intraocular pressure, IOP. It begins at the front with um, inadequate drainage of the eye. Usually there's, um, so the eye is wet. We all know that our eyeballs are wet. Um, so the fluid that resides to keep our um, eyes nice and moist and lubricated um, kind of just drain right through here in this uh, intra, it's a trabecular meshwork. Um, or through tears, uh, but it's just maintained. And when there's the drainage is not uh, adequate, if something's wrong with here, um, depending on the type of glaucoma you have, there are several different types. Um, they all result in this buildup, buildup, buildup of pressure and pushing and intra and the optic nerve being um, being damaged due to this pressure buildup. Um, uh, the effects. Um, the, excuse me, clinical manifestations would definitely be nausea, vomiting, headaches, blurry vision, redness and pain in the eye. Um, and then a huge, huge thing in nursing to look out for is if someone is saying they're seeing halos or spots of light around like a lamp or other sources of light. Halos is a big ticket um, to for glaucoma or cataracts. Um, something to do, something's going on with your eyes, something's going on with neuro. Um, and then uh, the ophthalmologist is going to examine to diagnose glaucoma with corneal thickness measurements, drainage angle inspection to see what's going on, how it's not draining or um, impaired, and, uh, and then the pressure measurements. Um, those are all going to help determine if you have glaucoma and then which kind of glaucoma, how it's actually um, uh, affecting your optic nerve, what's going on there. Retinal detachment is an emergent situation. It's when the retina, so this orange inner layer um, that touches the body of the eye um, becomes displaced. So pushed up, pushed, scrunched together, somewhere where there's a gap between these layers and that, and then the fluid can be, can build up here. Um, so this, this affects our oxygenation and the, the nourishment of our eyes, which can again affect um, anything, all of these diseases can result in permanent eye loss. And any type of eye loss, no matter if it's complete or just a um, fragment, is irreparable. You can't get that back. Um, so these are very serious. Uh, so clin clinical manifestations would be um, specks, so floaties in the air. You know, people would say floaties, um, spontaneous flashes, like whew, uh, a big flash of lightning. Um, blurry vision again, a narrow field of vision, or like curtains, like a part of your just blacked out. Um, so I think of it as a boxer's disease often because it's, you know, if you're getting hit, something could uh, just get misplaced and just, um, I think of it like that retinal detachment. I think of uh, trauma, um, but it can also just happen just from aging. Um, and then uh, a retinal exam is, we'll diagnose it. Uh, to see if there is in fact a displacement. Um, and if there is trauma, like there is blood, uh, that's how you can do an ultrasound on the eye, which I found very interesting. Um, cataracts is the cloudy, the cloudy eyes, those blue eyes, the gray eyes that we see, um, usually in older people. Um, although it can come from chronic diseases like diabetes uh, or trauma. Um, the, uh, so the lens is impaired, so this lens very important how we process the light so if it fogs up your vision is impaired blurry um, you have difficulty seeing at night especially because there's not a lot of light coming in so that makes it even more difficult um, sensitivity to light fading color 
double vision, and again, halos. Um, so the ophthalmologist will do retinal exam, visual acuity test, which is the, the normal eye exam we all get, um, a slit lamp exam, which allows you to see just that interior so he can really, really, he or she can really, really thoroughly expect that, examine that lens to see if it is cataracts. Um, and treatment for glaucoma is usually found in eye drops. So lots of different kinds. There's beta blockers, which reduce the fluid production, prostaglins, which increase the outflow of the intraocular fluid. So it kind of just pushes it out. So you're draining. Tears is better than pressure, I guess. Um, and then uh, usually in, used in conjunction with some sort of oral medication um, to improve the effects. And uh, there's even surgery, which you can, they can place artificial tubes or kind of just make canals for it to, for, um, to improve the impairment so that it drains naturally. Um, they can do this with surgery or with lasers, which I thought was interesting. Um, retinal detachment uh, is a very unusual. Um, it's injected, your eye in the center of your eye is injected with air or gas to help push the retina just back into place. Um, there can also, you can also use scleral buckling, which is like um, a surgical band-aid on your eye to just keep it in place. You have to keep your head very, very still for a couple days. Um, so that's definitely a nursing consideration. Um, cataracts is very manageable because it is a slow onset. It's not a rapid disease. Um, usually people will have corrective glasses and just use strong lighting until those are no longer effective. And then you sh there's surgery to replace your foggy lenses with artificial clear lenses. Um, so management for the eye, you're always going to be dealing with an ophthalmologist. So that's interpersonal care um, going off of what they say. Uh, and the um, a nurse must assess for their ambulation and fall risk since dealing with the eye. Um, you must know exactly what their limitations are and um, if they need any sort of assistive devices because of that. If they're having, if they're having some sort of surgery, there's usually going to be patches to act as the, you know, the band-aid. So hand hygiene, um, patient teaching is huge. Um, uh, also being able, if they're doing glaucoma or something, being able to demonstrate that they actually are able to put in eye drops effectively. Um, and then limiting strain, limiting strain on your eyes, screens, phones, tablets, TV. It's, it's, it's very rampant these days. So just being able to rest, you know, listen to an audiobook or music while you're re in recovery. Those are much better options than staring at a screen, which can be straining on the eyes. Um, so the nurse must um, just give those kind of base, because cataracts is usually an outpatient surgery. Um, retinal detachment you usually have to stay very, very still for a couple of days. So again, just kind of being in a calm, peaceful place, um, really, really helping with their kind of psychological um, well-being is going to be huge because many people will experience vision loss. And so that's a significant life change. Um, so many different things will come into play if they do have um, partial or total vision loss um, with their with their mental status. So that definitely needs to be something that is considered by the nurse. Um, and then health promotion for good eye care is, you know, seeing an ophthalmologist, uh, you know, as recommended, especially if you're over 60, um, eating nutritionally, you know, uh, vit vitamin A is huge, carrots and sweet potatoes. Um, and fish, good, good healthy omegas, plenty of water and protein if they are recovering from surgery, and um, uh, just uh, utilizing sunglasses when you're outside. We're in Arizona. Um, safety goggles if you're doing hazardous labor. Uh, quitting smoking is always going to be beneficial. And um, reducing eye strain from screens um, for the modern days. Um, okay, thank you so much.